Okay, now Samsung has made a very important change with respect to the side key press and hold function on One UI 7.0. Now here I've got the Galaxy S23 Ultra running currently on One UI 6.1 and this is the S25 Ultra currently on One UI 7. Let me go ahead and show you that. Let's go to the quick panel here. I will tap on the power button. This is where we get the side button settings and uh, let me do this on the S25 Ultra. You can see it looks pretty simple now on the One UI 7 and here on the S23 Ultra on the One UI 6.1 for double press we have got quick launch camera, quick launch Samsung wallet and we have got open application and then we have got press and hold functions here and here it says long press function we will be able to select digital assistant Google currently that is available and then we have got Bixby and we have got power off menu here we have got wake up Bixby and power off menu we can't really set the digital assistant here however we will be able to add the digital assistant like a Google app or Gemini app for this specific option for double press anyways let's forget that now let's talk about the double press function let me just go back here and let me tap on double press here. You can see on One UI 7, we have got many new options right here. Whereas here for double press, we just had quick launch camera, quick launch Samsung wallet and open app. And when we select open app, we'll be able to select the application here, which includes torch and interpreter. Whereas here on One UI 7, we have got camera, we can launch Samsung wallet, torch, magnifier, voice recorder, Samsung notes, Samsung capture, modes and routines and applications. So we've got some of the additional options here for this specific function to activate these functions. We can double press on the side key to start a voice recording. Let's say I select this option here. I will be able to open voice recording or start a recording. Let me select this. Now let's double press on the side key. You can see the voice recording just started. Instead of that, I can select Samsung Notes. If I select Samsung Notes, we have got multiple options again. Open Notes, Paint with Brush, Record Voice Note, Type Note and Write with Pen. We can select that. Then we can select Samsung Capture. Again, here we have got AI Select, Screen Recording and Screenshots. If I select AI Select and double press on the side key, as you can see, the all new AI select is active right now. And then we have got modes and routines. We'll be able to tap on the settings again. We have got three default routines or modes available here. And then if you have a manually set mode, that will also show up here. You'll be able to just double press on the side key to activate that specific mode or routine. Then we have got applications. You can tap on the settings to choose any application that you want. So this is fantastic. It's actually a big change. It is functional and a very valuable change for some of you guys at least. We can set more actions or more functions now for double press on the side key on One UI 7. Let me know what do you think about this feature? Is it good? Are you going to use it? Drop a comment and while you do that, be sure to hit the subscribe button to become a part of Apex community and hit the like button if you find this video informative. And yeah, if you haven't downloaded our wallpaper application Wallverse yet, go ahead, download it. I recently added many new wallpapers and a couple of new collections have also been uh, added. Go ahead and check it out. You are going to love it. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.